I'm trying to expose the keel joint so that we can work on rebedding it. But at some point in Ixion's life, when it was Alley Cat, or maybe when it was Shadow Fax, don't know when, um, a previous owner glassed about 10 inches over, like a 10 inch overlap on the keel joint, which is something that I wanted to do anyways. But because of that, it's making it harder to find the actual keel joint. So I'm chipping away, one, trying to figure out where the fiberglass ends because in this entire fiberglassing section, whoops, um, the, the glass job, or at least on part of this, just kind of stopped, um, which I find really, really weird. So I'm chipping away because that's faster than sanding. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's slow. It's very slow going. may need a grinder. My only fear with using a grinder is taking off too much. Like starting to eat away at the metal, at the lead. But um, yeah. Because I think I need to get down to this gel coat step here. That's the only way to do it. I like. I mean, whoever did this glass job, I guess did an okay job. Be warmer than it is today, but I need to get things done. It's definitely barely 50 degrees out. That's Fahrenheit. Oh, and we've got pretty stiff northern wind. Not relevant to the project, except that it is going to probably get a little dusty. Got to get to work. Got to get things done. Maybe I'll tell you about it if I got the time. Oh, I love Aladdin. Okay, anyways, <laughs> we're gonna keep grinding away at the uh, keel joint right now and uh, get it all nice and exposed. Still looking for damage. So yep, here we go. So I've grounded pretty much down to the lead over here. And as I get further across, um, I still got antifoul to, uh, to sand. So I just busted out the, uh, the sander and our dust collector and all that stuff. Jeez, my hair's a mess. Um, so that I can keep going on this antifoul because I really don't want that to be airborne. Bigger and better, this is my time. Faster than ever, hungry and I. To come back and take what is mine Bigger and better It's a new dawn, it's a new day Some things are different but nothing is changed Still got my number, still got my name Tell everybody I'm back in the game oh. The 
this has been some surprising uh, surprisingness. So uh, I'm grinding, well, not grinding, I'm sanding down here. And uh, I decided to get off most of the anti-fouling anti first and then start going progressively uh, layer by layer. Until um, I got to, I guess gel coat would be where I'm, I'm headed. But I found something kinda kind of interesting and so far well it's interesting it's very 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 interesting it looks like a previous repair that seems to go pretty far across the keel stub I don't know what to make of it yet. It's future Nick. And I'm here to tell you that past Nick was a little mistaken. What you're looking at and what he's looking at is the fiberglass that overlays the keel joint. And so the keel stub actually has a bit of a taper. So that's what I'm seeing is the fiberglass laid over the keel joint and extending down onto the lead keel about four or five inches. So there's a good six to eight inches of, of fiberglass tape that, that overlays the keel stub and the keel, uh, helping to seal the, uh, the keel joint. Some fiberglass, but this this little bit here is actually on top of, then over here, you can actually see a little bit of fiberglass delamination. So I'm gonna have to grind away at this. Um, and again, the keel joint is somewhere around this area. So I still got a lot to uncover. Um, I'm going to talk to somebody about this because it doesn't look like it's done the best way, but I could be wrong. Um, but having seen this, it means that we're definitely going to remove anti-fouling, you know, further up onto the hull because we might end up laying new fiberglass down onto the keel stub as a whole. That's kind of where we're at for now. I'm going to keep sanding away working my way down working my way downtown dun, dun, dun. that's the only words i know to that song dun, 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 dun. um but yeah gonna keep working my way down and uh i mean i'm almost to the point where i can start grinding away at the uh at the keel joint but uh kind of want to pull on this thread of this mystery repair and see uh and see what i have to do to to fix it <sighs> curious 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 i mean to me it kind of looks like ixion in a previous life went through a pretty severe grounding that is my guess um i don't know the answer to that though so yeah we'll continue Okay, so at this point, Nick has been grinding and sanding for multiple days, and he hasn't really gotten that far. So, we're going to bust up the big guns, because in the end, we want to clear off all the bottom paint, um, and just redo it from scratch, since we have to sand so much of it away anyways to do the um, repairs. So, we went to Harbor Freight, and we bought a portable soda blaster. No, no idea if this is going to work, uh, but we're going to give it a go. It's supposed to be eco-friendly, um, so it's not supposed to like, damage the ground or anything, and unlike sandblasting, it's supposed to not destroy the bottom of your boat. Together. 
today we're not actually physically going to do it, do it. We're going to test it today. Um, because we need to, um, put a skirt around the boat, make sure we don't get freaking, you know, baking soda or whatever the hell it's called everywhere. The money and the time. The reviews were good. Kind of. So. Well, they were mixed. Yeah. Well, the ones that were good were good. The ones that were bad were, like, horrible. came in the box broken. So I can't really... That's a horrible review. Like, why would you review something like, it came in the box broken, it doesn't work. One star. I'm like, if it came in the box broken, then, then it was an issue traveling, not the machine itself, you dummy. Anywho, let's figure out how to put this sucker together. Jake put all this together, or at least mostly. No, can't can't finish putting it together till it's filled. Um, I started filling it. This is a 15 pound bag, so it takes some effort. So cool to see it just slide down. That's fun to see. And that's how babies are born. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how babies are born. Let's get started. I built a rocket in my bed. I'm gonna fly it to the moon. This supersonic is amazing. You're gonna feel my sonic boom. I'm flying higher and I'm never coming down. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look, look at me. We brought the funk into this function. Yeah. We show up dressing to the nice. Okay. Shows promise. I need to kind of figure out the um, the mix between air and soda, but it really does show a lot of promise. Um, when I'm picking up enough soda to like blast, it starts going quickly. But if there isn't enough soda going through, it's a lot of air. So, uh, so yeah, it shows a lot of promise. I think. We're kind of empty in the tank already, but we didn't put all that much in there anyways. Will so. it be faster? Um, I don't know yet. I think so. I, mean, I, say, my, I don't know, but I think so. From my looks, it only got down to the barrier coat. Well, see, on the keel, it's a little different because you've got, you have a bunch of, um, on the keel it's different because you have a bunch of fairing compound so against the fairing compound it wasn't doing as great of a job but it's also just a different substance so i don't think that it's useful to to strip fairing compound it seems whereas like a sandblast wood it's a bit more abrasive but when it came to taking care of the barrier coat and the anti-foul it was stripping it away pretty, 
pretty nicely. It's just a matter of getting that right mix. Because at, at the start, we weren't getting enough soda. So you, we'll continue with it on the rest, do you think? I think so. I think it's worth trying. I think it's worth it. Okay. I think. I just didn't want to keep going because I could see how much dust I was starting to put everywhere. And this was really just a test. So, um... It's all over the rig. Huh? It's all over the rig. Yeah. It kind of spreads everywhere. So, now that we've tested and we see that it's... There's feasibility. I'd say... Skirt off the boat and... I'm also, remove that. <laughs> the new hat. So oh, we don't ruin the brand new hat. Yeah, I'll put on something else. Um, but even still, it's just it's just a little dusty. But I love it when things are actually easier instead of harder. So, you know what? We're going to cue the music and dance to that one. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already and hit that notification bell so you get notified every week when we put out an episode. Also, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. We love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to like and share and tell all of your friends about us. If you really like what we're doing, you can support us on Patreon. The link for that is down below. So come back next week. We put out an episode every week. So we'll see you then. Bye. I trip off from my body. Make them do a double take. Watch me come alive in the nighttime. Still living life in the day. You ask me how I get this good. I was born this way. I'm feeling myself.